we'll start learning the pronouns. Okay. What is pronoun, brother? In Arabic, we call it damir. Remember? And damir is also ism. In the group of ism, damir comes. Why? Because it also has dun dan din. Anything has dun dan din is ism. Are you with me? Okay. We are going to learn the marfu form of damir. Marfu form of pronoun. Okay, we are going to learn. Now, pronoun is a word used as a substitute for a noun. So that you don't repeat noun all the time. If I say to you, Muhammad came and Muhammad said and Muhammad ate and Muhammad read. The brother, it doesn't sound nice to your ear. What I will say, <coughs> Muhammad came and he sat and he ate. Now that makes much easier and it's nicer to the ear. So the pronouns come instead of nouns so that we avoid repeating it. Okay? Fine. The pronoun that refers to the speaker. In English we call it first person pronoun. It refers to the speaker. We call it first person pronoun. Can you tell me, give me an example of first person pronoun? I and we. Huh? Okay. A pronoun that refers to the hearer. Huh? Second person. And then pronoun that refers to somebody who is not in front of us, who is in other room or away, we call it third person. Are you with me? Brother? We always start the pronoun with the third person. We start with third person. And all the verbs uh, in its first form, in the verb, when you take it in its original form, it is always past tense and it will always say he. It won't say she. Now don't blame me. I didn't invent anything. <laughs> That's the way the language is. It comes with he. When we talk about verbs, we'll, we'll do it. But, it. but in pronouns, we also start with he. Are you with me? No, what is he? It's a singular. It's a third person. And what else it is? Masculine. Masculine. Now, brothers and sisters, in Arabic language, either a thing has to be a masculine or feminine. No in, in, in between. <laughs> no. Uh, no in between. Either he or she. Anything has to be paired. Okay? So we start with singular he. Then in Arabic language, brothers and sisters, we have something very special. Because Arabic is very precise. When you say two, you mean two. Okay? In English, we say he, and then we say they. <clears throat> Even if there are two, they, you say they. But in Arabic, if there are two, you mean two, and not three. If it is less than three, then it is two. two and that is dual. Okay? So we have in Arabic language singular huh? and then dual and then plural. Singular and then we have dual and then plural. It's amazing, brother, how the Arabic language is, honestly. This is the palm of my hand. Huh? Four fingers and thumb. And in each finger there are three sections. Are you with me? Okay. So if I say masculine, then I have first section singular, dual, and plural. Isn't it amazing, brother? I think it is. It, I should say in the language of uh, our children, it's cool. <laughs> okay. Number second finger. Let's make it feminine. So, again, singular, dual, plural. 
So these two fingers, peace, these two fingers are for third person. And then the next two fingers are for the second person. Same thing, masculine and feminine. And this thumb, brothers and sisters, this thumb is for first person. But then there are only two sections. So in, in thumb we have only singular and plural. Okay, fine. Okay, brothers and sisters, we start now the third person. It's called, what is it called? Al-Ghaib. Al no, again, those with Urdu, they have an advantage. What is the meaning of Ghaib? He's absent. He's not here. Huh? Okay, which means somebody not in front of us. We are talking about somebody who is not here with us. Third person. Huh? We call it third person. We start with singular. What is the singular, brother? What is it, brothers and sisters? Who? What is next one? Dual. Huma. And what is plural, brothers and sisters? Hum. So he, they two, two, huh? And then they. Okay? Now this is, as you know, it is masculine. Huh? Okay? We call it muzakkar. Okay? And then we come to muannas. And then it will become hiya. And then huma again. And then hunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It is hunna. Muannas. Muannas. Feminine, brother. Okay, brothers and sisters, here we are. First finger. Just like tasbih. First section. Hua. Second, second section. Huma. Third section. Hum. Second finger, feminine. Hia. Huma. Hunna. Is it? If you know it, then I can do the whole thing. But if you want to do it gradually, then we will only do this. Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hunna. Ready? Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hunna. Hua, huma, hum. Hia huma hunna Anta antum antum Anta antum antum Anti antum antunna Anti antum antunna Ana nahnu Ana nahnu Hua huma hum if you want to sing with me, you are welcome to sing, brother. We'll, we'll sing in a chorus now. Inshallah, in a couple of days, you will, <laughs> you will be singing in your car. <laughs> or, uh, you know, while you are taking shower, you will be singing. <laughs>